PC peripherals world, the wireless craze is almost over, and ultralight mice are all the rage right now. Mice are getting lighter and lighter, with some manufacturers literally boring holes right through their mice just to shave a few grams off the top. I have to admit, I haven't been keeping up with this trend. My mouse at home is still the 107 gram Logitech G900. But today, I'm going to tell you about the first ultralight mouse I've used for an extended period of time, the 86 gram Corsair M55 RGB Pro. On your first look at the M55, you can probably already guess its price. It's got the bare necessities, grippy plastic all around, textured rubber on the sides, and glossy plastic on the parts that you don't usually touch. I immediately noticed that the material and texture used on the sides is the same as the wrist rest on my Corsair Strafe RGB Mark I. I personally love it, but your mileage may vary. It has a braided cable, which used to be a premium feature on past mice because of its strength and resistance to single point stress, but now it's dividing the population because of its grip to surfaces and weight. For me, I kind of prefer having a braided cable, just for that added toughness. I generally tend to wear my tech out really easily because of my frantic lifestyle, so any kind of reinforcement to the build is a plus for me. The left click and right click are both kind of mushy, and the scroll wheel is more of the same. There is also no dedicated DPI up or down, just a singular DPI cycle button. I do have to say, I really dig the styling. I'm a sucker for very clean and minimalistic designs, something that the M55 really embodies. The only RGB light on the mouse is at the logo at the back, and even then, I usually just turn it off in IQ because I'd rather have the logo in non-glowing white. The M55 measures at 124mm long, 57mm wide, and 40mm tall. Its tallest point is shifted a bit back from the middle, and weight distribution isn't entirely centered. The body is kind of bigger heavy, and I assume Corsair did that to counteract the forward roll due to the cable when lifting the mouse. The shape generally dictates that you either palm the mouse or use a fingertip grip. Clawing the mouse can be awkward, since the middle part where my pinky and thumb grip are kind of skinny, while there is a wide and tall back end so the middle of the bottom of my palm will drag at some angles, and at some it won't. The M55 is running the Pixar PAW3327 sensor, and as far as I'm concerned, it is fairly accurate. It's a quote-unquote perfect sensor, as far as I can tell, with no smoothing, angle snapping, or jitter. It's also a good sign that angle snapping is not an option available on IQ. And from what I experienced, the LOD is really shallow, so players doing huge sweeping movements might have to be wary of that. The DPI can go up to a crazy 12,400, which only maniacs use. Also, the PAW3327 is listed on Pixar's website as a max 6,200 DPI sensor, so anything above that is probably Corsair using scanning interpolation to pump the sensitivity and it's not something you want if you're looking to use this for competitive gaming. But yeah, like I said before, tracking and accuracy is spot on, at lower DPIs. And that's what matters most, right? So, is the Corsair M55 RGB Pro a good deal? Of course! Coming in at an affordable $40, this is good value for gamers who want to get into sub 100 gram mice without breaking the budget. Yes, you do lose out on some features that you would expect from a high-end brand like Corsair, like the build quality, it's okay overall, the scroll wheel and click mushiness is a point for improvement, and on the software side, you'll be missing out on surface tuning and LOD calibration slash adjustment, which might be the deal breaker for some dedicated FPS gamers. But apart from those downsides, you do get a well-built mouse, a good sensor, and a good intro to the ultralight experience. Not bad for $40. So that's my review of the Corsair M55 RGB Pro. Want more straight to the point reviews like this? Like this video and subscribe. It helps a lot to keep this channel going. My last video was my unboxing of the Asus ROG Theta 7.1 gaming headset. Have you seen it yet? Go watch it, it's pretty good. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.